The battle for a $2.5 billion discrimination lawsuit against the Canadian government continues in day two of the black class action hearing. The government of Canada put forward several motions today, including one that seeks to dismiss reports and expert testimonies, including one from the former chief commissioner for the Human Rights Commission, Raj Anand. Anand's affidavit is, uh, is telling the court essentially that the Canadian Human Rights Commission, the grievance process, the uh, Federal uh, Labor Relations Board, that these mechanisms are unable to address systemic discrimination. Officials say over the next 10 days, the government of Canada is going to try and make the case that there are other forums to address this matter. But of course, the plaintiffs want the court to understand that all this evidence is relevant uh, to support the, uh, the determination that a class action really is the best way uh, to address 50 years of discrimination uh, against black people in public service. A lawyer for the Black Action lawsuit says what we're seeing is counsel for the Canadian government trying to make this appear as just another labor case. But it's not. This is a historic case about seeking justice uh, for, for current and for former uh, black public servants, many of whom were never hired and many of whom were hired and were never got given a promotion. Meantime, the national president of the Union of National Employees says this case sets an important precedent. All workers should be concerned that a group would try to oppress another group and then try to get a loophole around the Constitution of Canada, the highest law in the land. And we look to that, you know, in the unions to uphold workers' rights. And uh, to hear Canada try to circumvent that is um, shocking. Well, 10 days remain of this hearing where both the plaintiff as well as the counsel for the government of Canada continue to argue their case. Now, if the judge does certify this motion to go ahead as a class action against the Canadian government, then this lawsuit will cover all 45,000 black public service workers as well as job applicants from 1970 until now. On University, Rianne Campbell, City News.